I'm hoping someone can hear me. I've been alone for, I think, a year. At this point, this is just an attempt to keep me sane. If you can hear me, please answer. We don't have to meet. I just want someone to talk to. I'm Tony. Maybe you were just too scared to talk to me. That's fine, too. I started watching the news again. I recorded them a while ago. Kept them with me. Uh, just in case humanity ever recovers. We need to remember what happened. People have been separated. Folks have been evacuated. I understand the difficulties facing us. However, I have faith in the fine people of the Center for Disease Control to get to the root of the panic and confusion within the exclusion zone. I have faith in our servicemen and women to fulfill their duties and for General John McCrew to command them with the foresight and dedication he has shown throughout his exemplary career. It is a distressing time, America, but you are in safe hands. Thank you. This came after a statement from General John McGrew on the borderline of the event itself. There are many rumors circulating, many falsehoods. This is an appeal for calm. I can confirm there has been an outbreak. The ailment is as yet unidentified. It is flu-like. It leads to panic. It leads to confusion. There is no evidence of fatalities within the exclusion zone. We are using judged and judicious force to maintain the border. Warning shots have been fired. No civilians have been harmed. We must ensure that this infection is not allowed to spread. I am in hourly contact with the president on this matter. The no-fly zone will remain in place for the foreseeable future. At this time, we will take no questions. We'll have all the news as it develops. WBLN, your news. They were hiding facts from the public from the start. But knowing how it ended, I don't think them telling the public would have made a difference. I was naive then. I had thought that maybe the military would rescue those left in the zone. I started breaking into the homes on my street, looking for food and weapons to defend myself. Aside from occasionally going outside, I hid in my house in front of the TV, waiting for the news or an opportunity to leave, but the news only got worse. Breaking news, we have images of some of the victims of the Knox event. They are shocking. If you have children in the room, just, just don't let them see. Yesterday, the president said recovery was possible, yet increasingly unlikely. Today we saw this image, a man covered in blood, a man covered in what analysts are calling bite marks. There has been no official statement. Let's go to Richard Gershwin on the event boundary. There's shock here. There are tears. There is anger. Hope has been fading fast for days. The faces of the soldiers on the barricade suggested this all along. But still the people ask why. Why say panic and confusion, when in reality, there is so much more? His revelation isn't going to help him in stemming riots, Richard. No, Diane. It's not. The people here, they're- Fuck McGrew! Fuck his lies! Ma'am, we are live. Fuck this shit! The curfew begins at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Please stay in your houses. Tune in to local programming for curfew information. WBLN, your news, your station. People on the outside were only starting to see what was happening in here. If I was going to make it out of here, I would have to drive to the zone border. I took my neighbor's car and started packing food, weapons, anything else I had. It took a couple of days, but I was ready. I was going to make stops along the way, 
avoid the dead, check for more food. I ended up at some farmhouse in the countryside. It was safe enough to get me through the night, and I turned on the news. We don't have pictures, but, oh, we do. Folks, we're going straight over to Richard Gershwin. I've, I've been attacked, bitten. This huge wave of, they're dead, Diane. There's no other way to say it. We were being held by the army for filming the, the guns. They were killing people. Richard, slow down. The people, the dead people from inside. They heard the fighting. There were thousands of them. They're stone cold. All of them. They're dead. They're actually dead. Are there uninfected people who have died? It's a war zone. There's... Oh, God. There's more. The Knox event has been compromised, Diane. Compromised! Go back to hell, you son of a bitch! The curfew begins at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Please stay in your houses. Tune in to local programming for curfew information. I wasn't sure what to do in that moment. I had so many questions. I decided just to go to sleep and see what tomorrow looked like. I had to swap stations. Um, WBLN was down and just not reporting anymore. So I went to Triple N. This is Triple N. We are going straight over to the Knox event. Christy, are you there? I am. There are horrific scenes here. All reports indicate that violence and gunfire in the border camp caused a surge of infected civilians that broke through the border. We have no official numbers, but casualties are high. Has the military restored order, Christy? That's hard to say. Those who could move north have done so. A large number of military vehicles are moving alongside them. The army is pulling back. The camp has been abandoned? Yes, but... I'm sorry to say this, but... Some have been left behind. Some folk who were bitten. Some folk who wanted to stay and help. It's a desperate scene here in Kentucky. Desperate indeed. Thank you, Christy. The curfew begins at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Please stay in your houses. Things were not looking good. I still had hope. At the time, I decided I'd keep moving even if I have to drive through the war zone of Louisville to get to safety. I drove to another farmhouse not too far from Maldrow. I spent the night there and woke up the next morning to this. This is Triple N, bringing you the facts you need to know as the Knox event widens. We're here with vital news. As the Knox infection spreads, so do the scenes of horror. After 24 hours, the spread of flu-like symptoms have accelerated. There are suspected cases throughout surrounding states. However, there are individuals who are not immediately endangered. We have obtained this audio file from Christy Cormick. I'm hoping you guys get this. Duke, my camera guy, he got the fever. Everyone's got it here. I don't know why. Maybe it's just dormant. Maybe we had it all along. But everywhere I look, I see dead and dying people. Left on the street, dying in doorways. But I'm okay. I need you to tell people that I think some people are immune. Some lucky people. Oh God, I've got to go. They've seen me. They've seen me. I had a feeling she was onto something, and she was. Those of us still alive are immune, at least until we get bit. But the noises, I rarely hear screams and gunfire anymore. I'd say there are fewer and fewer of us every day. Hell, I may be just talking to myself right now. Um, once I'd seen this, I decided to stay in that house and see if there was a chance the military or government could pull something off. This is Triple N. I'm afraid we come with bad news. Worse news. As scenes of horror unravel at home, shocking news from overseas. Symptoms similar to those of the Knox event have been reported in the United Kingdom and in Somalia, Africa. These pictures clearly show Knox event infections in Norfolk, England, 
and at an unknown location in the Somalian capital, Mogadishu. I'm so sorry. We have anecdotal evidence that a very small minority of people may be immune. Wherever you are, though, please take care. Take care of your loved ones, find food, and hide. Please don't fight. We can do this together. I was unsure what to do. Everywhere was like this. No one was coming. What was I going to do? I ended up going to bed, trying to wait for more information. The following morning, no stations were broadcasting. I grabbed a radio from one of the bedrooms, started flipping through stations. I found one station playing on repeat. This message. This is addressed to those unaffected by the second wave of the Knox infection. You might know who you are by now. If you don't, you will in the coming days. The disease will not spread to you as it has to others. But through fluid contact, by which I mean bites, it surely will. The time has come to bear arms against this threat. They may be your family. They may be your friends. Do not hesitate to pull the trigger. These are dark days, but as a nation, we can and will prevail. You have not been forgotten. We will come for you. General John McGrew, out. In that moment, I knew without a doubt that the world I once knew was over. I'd have to learn how to survive in this new world. But how? Thank you.